Today we're going to take a look at a six pack IPM IGBT and we're going to do a quick test of the six free wheel diodes in here. To do this test you won't need a schematic. We're going to show you how to just look for the odd one out. Ryan go ahead and put the meter on diode test scale. All right we're on diode test. He's just going to put his red lead on negative and then check all three phases. And at this point, if one reads different, it's the culprit. Those all read good. He's going to swap his meter leads and do the same thing. We should read OL. Okay, now he's going to go to P, positive. And the way you know it should read OL, if two out of three or all three do, now he's going to swap his meter leads again. And he should read the diode drop. And he does. So nothing red unusual there. Now we're going to take a look at one that does have a shorted diode. So do the same exact test. And we'll see without having a schematic, you can just see the odd one out is going to be the problem. Okay, so those tested good. Swap. Those all test good. Now we're going to get on the positive, And here's where we're going to see our problem on V plus. So that reads bad, go to W. Now swap your meter leads. Good, bad. So without having a schematic and without even having to memorize which way to put your meter leads, you can detect the, the bad one, just the odd one out. This is just the uh, free wheel diodes. We We'll do another test where we learn how to check the gate junction. And we'll do another video where we explain how they work. 